Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, 6th of October, 2020. Uh, if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, uh, hit the like button and the bell button in order to be notified for our newest videos, which we now do on a daily basis. So most of these tech stocks have rallied today. We have a really nasty pullback on Friday uh, due to the fact that the U.S. president um, had been, had caught the coronavirus, uh, but we did not break down. Um, we did break down towards the 50 moving average. We didn't break down beneath on the, the 50 moving average for most of these tech stocks. So we're going to look at Netflix first. So Netflix is up 1.56% uh, at this point, and um, it is mixed at this point. If you look at the technical indicators for for Netflix, then the MACD is really positive. Uh, the RSI is fairly bearish, and the same goes for the stochastic, and so goes for the bullish band. So um, there is a mix to whether or not we are going to test the highs of uh, last Thursday, um, or whether or not we are going to turn around here and go all the way down towards the uh, 100 moving average. Um, it is mixed. It is, um, it is uh, kind of risky to enter this market at this point. It's not, uh, it doesn't really make any sense me, uh, entering the, for a buy or a sell at this market. Most of these stocks are uh, darlings of Wall Street, and it's not a good idea to basically short them. Uh, what you should do is basically wait until you get major uh, support area, enter a major support area similar to this uh, 100 moving average area in order to enter. Uh, so um, at this point, I'm just going to wait for Netflix. If we go uh, all the way down towards the 100 moving average, I'll definitely be buying this uh, stock. Uh, but at this point, it can turn around at any, any, any moment. If you, for example, look at the stochastic, it is indicating that we will basically cross the signal line and that will indicate bullish, mom, uh, bearish momentum. The same goes for the, for the Bollinger Band. We basically hit the, uh, the top of the Bollinger Band last week, and now it looks like we're uh, going towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and that would coincide with the bottom of these candlesticks here. So, um, yeah. And to the upside, we break this. Uh, if we break the top of uh, Thursday's session of uh, 530, then we'll go all the way to the top here of uh, 556. So if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft is trading underneath the 50 moving average. Uh, and it is also fairly mixed to where basically Microsoft stock is going. So the MACD is kind of flat, it's above the signal line, but it's flat. The RSI is also flat, but the stochastic is really bearish, and so is the is so is the Bollinger Band uh, on some degrees here. But at this moment, we are trading between this green line, which is a hundred uh, moving average, and these exponential moving averages and the fifty moving average. Um, we are basically right in the middle. If we were to break through the 50 moving average and have a green ground, um, green candlestick above here, like similar to this one, then that would give an indication that we're going higher. But at this point, I do expect us to revisit these lows, probably all the way down here at the 196 before we go higher. We'll see a lot of choppiness in the stock market uh, or the foreseeable, uh, for foreseeable future, especially until the presidential elections are over. Um, if we were to break down, uh, break through the uh, 100 moving average, then we will go all the way down to this 150 moving average at 189. A break above this uh, candlestick here, well, then we'll go to the all time highest here of uh, $232. If you look at Apple, Apple is uh, at this moment trading just above the 50 moving average. The technical indicators are not very promising for Apple stock. I do believe we will break down here. 
and I, I did expect Apple when we were here to go all the way down to the 200 moving average. It didn't do that, but something tells me that we're probably going to do that now. Um, because if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is technically flat, is, is, is hovering up, uh, up uh, underneath this, uh, the, the zero line. So it is fairly bearish at this point. The, the RSI is fairly flat. However, the stochastic has turned around, indicating bearish momentum. Um, so we'll probably see a gradual grind to the downside uh, for Apple stock will most certainly bounce of the 100 moving average if we get down here it is also around a hundred dollars if we were to uh to uh to break through this uh, top of the candlestick from last thursday of 117 uh, then we'll go and retest this area we have uh, an area here of uh, of resistance that we need to break through before we go to the all time highs at uh, 138 dollars so if we look at Amazon, Amazon is at the moment trading in between these two exponential moving averages and the 50 moving average. We have rallied, um, but it is similar, this technically the same case as most of the other tech, uh, tech stocks. And that is that uh, Tesla is uh, trading above the uh, 20 exponential moving average and the uh, 40 exponential moving average and the 50 exponential moving average. Um, if we have a breakdown uh, from here, then the 50 exponential moving average will most likely be significant uh, support. Um, however, we are struggling uh, to get through this area. We have uh, tried it uh, several times in the in the past, but we have broken down ever uh, every time. Um, this is uh, it's a very popular stock, I have to say. And uh, every single time we get close to this 15 moving average, it is seen basically that buyer come, uh, buyers come in and take advantage and then push the stock um, to the upside. So don't expect the stock to break through the 15 moving average anytime soon. However, we are still struggling getting through this area of resistance. Um, the technical indicators for Tesla stock are fairly uh, bearish at this point. We have the MACD that is uh, underneath the signal line. We have the and uh, and we have the RSI that is also uh, quite uh, bearish. And the stochastic at the moment is fairly flat. Um, I do expect us to run into similar resistance um, at this area here. Um, most likely nothing really significant will happen in the, this stock uh, before uh, the elections and so on. So um, buying the dips, that is uh, the probably the best strategy uh, and the uh, best entry point is at the 50 moving average. If we look at Facebook, then Facebook has run into uh, resistance at the 50 moving average. Um, I do expect Facebook to roll over here uh, towards the 100 moving average before we go higher. Uh, no interest in basically uh, selling this um, at the point at this point. Um, the 100 moving average has proven to be very supportive, uh, but the technical indicators for for uh, for uh, Facebook are not looking very promising. We have the MACD, which is. Uh, it's basically flat. We have the RSI that's uh, indicating lower uh, uh, lower momentum. And we are also, if you look at the stochastic, about to cross the signal line indicating uh, bearish momentum here. The bullish band, we're basically right in the middle. So nothing uh, to look for. I do expect this market to basically turn around towards the 100 moving average and then bounce. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, then we'll need to break through this high here of uh, 268, and then this area of resistance around here before we can go to the all-time highs. If you look at Google, Google has rallied, but we are still trading underneath all of these uh, uh, moving averages, and. Uh, 
I do expect us to go and visit back uh, visit the 200 moving average before we go higher. Um, there's just too much resistance above here at this point uh, for for Google to rally. So do expect us to roll back towards the 200 moving average and then bounce from there. Uh, if we were to break through all of these moving averages, then we have additional resistance at this area here. Uh, that we have to get through before we go to the all-time highs. So, hope you like this video. You're welcome to support uh, our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button, uh, um, and uh, good luck and happy trading. Thank you very much.